Before I go anywhere with this particular question, I want you to recall some of the rules. Like, notice what you're seeing here, okay? Like, that's this is standard form, right? That's what it looks like. It's AX plus BY plus C equals zero. And your job is, there's a few rules with this, if you remember, when we wrote this down yesterday. Um, no fractions. These are just some formalities, I suppose. No fractions with this. And um, A can't be negative. Okay. So when I look at a question like this, I'm just basically trying to like switch it from, because this is obviously an y equals mx plus b right now, right? And we're trying to switch it from that form into standard, okay? And so the way to do that is just try and move everything that you see onto the left side or the right side and set it equal to zero basically, okay? Um, right now I would say, okay, right off the bat, I would deal with this fraction. Okay, and so to deal with that, I take the whole equation and I multiply the whole thing by three. Okay, and this is a good little practice because this is going to come up in here if it's in this lesson or another lesson or whatever, it's going to come up. When we say multiply everything, everything gets multiplied. Okay, every little piece. Right now, I see one piece, two pieces, three pieces. Would everybody agree? Three terms, if you will. Okay. So all three red terms need to be multiplied by three. Okay, so that looks like this. Okay, well, three times y is gonna be three y, has to equal, you could choose to do this in one of two ways. I'll show the full thing. But again, you don't have to necessarily show this step. Remember, this is three over one, so when I'm multiplying fractions, it's always top and top and bottom and bottom, okay? And so I can get times three divided by three, x minus 3. Is everybody okay? Okay, so you don't need to show this step. The whole point of multiplying by 3 was so that these two 3s divided out to be 1. That was the whole point. Okay, so you don't have to show this step. Okay, you don't have to write it like that. You could just jump right to here. I'm okay with that. Okay, I just show that intermediate step because I don't want people going where the 3 go or thinking that we didn't multiply it by three. That's also another thing, okay? So now, just start shifting things from the right side over to the left, and then um, you should be good to go. Okay, so by shifting, I mean create zero pairs. That's another way to write that, okay? So we're moving one thing from one side to the other. That's what we're doing, okay? So to do that, I could add two x and add three to both sides. Okay, and again, if you don't like the zero pair, because you're starting to get a little bit older and probably have a little bit more experience dealing with linear equations now, okay, you could just move stuff from one side to the other. Okay, but just know when you move it, it's got to change sign. Okay, and it changes. The reasoning behind that and why we always say zero pair is you're always adding or subtracting or like you're doing the opposite of what you see in order to move something, okay, which is why it becomes opposite onto the other side. Okay, so on the left, you can rewrite all three of these things to look like this now, right? I'm gonna have plus, or you don't even have to write the plus, so it's just two x plus three y plus three equals zero. Okay? Do we want to do, while I've got this rolling, do you want to do A? Because I think A, C is, uh, C is just, you could multiply everything by 15 in C. Okay, we saw some questions like that. There's just one other thing where I, I just want to bring your attention to this. A can't be negative. Okay, and that's what A is going to target there. Okay, so if I, A looks a little bit easier in terms of um, first impression, I suppose, right? But watch what happens. If I take 2x away to get the zero pair and add 9 to both sides, I'm going to get something like this. Negative 2x uh, plus a y plus 9 equals 0. What's the issue with this? We've broken one of the rules, yeah? Right? So I can't have a can't be negative. So to deal with that, 
you could do one of two things. Either you should have maybe moved the Y to the right side initially instead of moving both those other two pieces. Or if you do it this way, just multiply your entire equation times negative one. Okay? So now you're gonna get uh, 2x minus y minus 9 equals 0. Okay, and that'll be that. Alrighty. Again, we saw different reasons for wanting to have something in y equals mx plus b yesterday, and we saw reasons for wanting it in standard form. Okay, because we can graph quickly in different instances. Okay and also mitigate the risk of making a sign error switching from one to the other. Okay, it's not that it's not an, not an important skill, being able to like flip-flop around, it's just sometimes it's why take the risk in making an error with a question, okay? If you don't need to. Also, it's more work, okay? It takes more time, less efficient, okay, to get to the same spot, okay?